hi here we can see how to install a install and configure mail server what the mail does mail server do while we are sending a mail from one any client any one of the client such as email commerce mail or thunderbird or outlook the mail will be sent to the process of the mail here i am going to describe the mail will be forward to mta abc.com is one of the domain and the mta mail transfer agency is postfix or send mail or qmail or squirrel mail here we are going to talk about the postfix and the mail the user sent it is mua mail user agent and that one is email combos or thunderbird anything if you are sending a mail from to this outlook or from thunderbird it will be delivered to the postfix and postfix postfix will deliver to the dns record the dns record will search for the address of the sender sender address i have sent a mail to user2 at xyz.com the xyz.com is a one of the mail transfer agent it's located in remote and the mail which was i have sent it from the mta will be go to the dns and dns will search for the m x y z there are a lot of mail servers in the real environment and it will search for the particular person i am sending to user2 at the x y z dot com there are thousands and lakhs of servers but it will search the perfect server which was i am sending i am sending to x y z dot com so it will choose the mta and send the mail from dns to mta and the mta of x y z dot com will send the mail to mda mail delivery agent and the delivery agent is the which was postfix or send mail or whatever it will get the mail and download the mail to the where spool mail it will be redirected to the redirect to the user through pop3 or imap the pop3 or imap will be in the thunderbird or in um, outlook or whatever it will redirect to through the pop3 secured or non secured and the end user will receive the mail that's the mail process is going on and we can see which and which are the ports used for the mail and what are the packages and how to install and how how to remove the packages the port number used by postfix is port number 25 and the package what we are going to install is yum install postfix okay minus y will proceed with no as asking any yes or no option it will automatically install it and the package name is postfix package name postfix and the script file is etc any dot d slash postfix okay if you want to restart the postfix service we can restart using etc slash any dot d slash postfix restart or start or stop okay the same procedure can be divided done by service post fix start or stop or restart okay after the installation of the package we need to do one thing chconfig chk check config post fix on this used to while the system boots other services used to start running while the time the post fix also need to get on automatically for the, the for that purpose we are choosing using this command and now we can install the postfix there are two configuration files and the one configuration file you need to edit in this simple basic smt configuration okay the configuration file will be located in etc postfix slash 
post master dot cf and etc post fix slash main dot cf here but we are going to edit not going to edit the master dot cf we are going to edit the main dot cf file cf file and we are going to configure the mail server okay let we go to the configuration now i am going to install the package for installing package yum install post fix store post fix store minus y it will install the package post fix will be installed at error downloading package oh some of the error is there i think let me check one second okay here we can see the error has been fixed because my ftp server has not started in my base system the m install post fix we are installing it and the package has been installed and now we need to edit the configuration file of post fix post fix we have etc post fix and main.cf okay here for not getting confused i'm going to set the line number you know one thing just we need to edit the file line number 75 and just we need to edit the file line 75 just there are four or five lines line number 75 we need to edit and 98 we need to edit and 113 we need to edit 116 we need to edit and 246 or something that is to to 64 yeah 264 line need to be edit and 426 these are the lines we need to edit and we can see here at the line 75 i want to enter my host name my host name is server.example.com okay server.example.com and the 98 line want to be remove just remove the hyph hash hash because we don't want to mention the host name here as i have entered in the 75th line because the dollar mentioned here the variable is, has been mentioned here the host name will be replaced by server.example.com automatically if the domain name is here host name is here okay so we can move to the line number 113 and there was inter interface which interface need to receive the mail so i need to receive the mail in all interface and i don't want to uh, interface only local receiving in local so i'm going to uncommand that on using hash i will disable the line 116 local host and next 264 line number here we need to vary the network range here the default network range is local host and one of the network so i am going to remove this and i am going to add my network my network range is 192.168.1.0 slash subnet mask is 24 comma 192.168.1.0.0 and the subnet mask is 24 okay and move to the line 426 that will be the directory of mails where you want to arrive the mails where spool mail okay here is the in the picture i have shown the mail will be received here where mail spool that one is this line want to be uncommanded 426 and save the configuration file save the configuration file and restart the service 
etc init.d init.d postfix restart it's started the service has been started okay it's running and now we are going to send a mail from root user to student user that is a student user let me check whether there is a user named as student student yeah that the user is student it's already created and now I am sending a mail from root to student user to send a mail just use the command mail and to I am sending student at server dot example dot com okay hi this is a test mail from root then press enter then here is the message which I am sending to you okay just if you want to send the message press it just put a dot and press enter the mail has been sent to the student user let me check yes you minus student switch user student and to check the mail just type mail and press enter here you see the mail has been received from root to student okay the wires pool mail student one message one new message to view this message just select one and press enter the mail has been received from the root and two I have received student has been received and the subject what I type the and the message is here to exit press Q that's it to now I'm going to send the mail from student to root for that root at mail root at server dot example dot com and hi this is test okay this is the message content just press it dot and press enter the mail has been sent to root just now I'm going to switching back to root account and checking the mail just check the mail using command mail there is one mail arrived from student okay one new message so press select one and press enter here you see from student I have received a mail I have received to root hi this is test and the content message is here that's it okay this is a simple procedure to create a mail in postfix it's a basic SMTP configuration and now we are going to use MUT a package named MUT it will send the attachment file you can configure it and send from root to student okay the same procedure we can send the send from student to root so for that I'm going to install the package named yum install mutt this will install the mutt package and we can send the attachment files in the mail so for sending a mutt mail you need to send using mutt mail mutt mail to student at server dot example dot com two addresses here okay and just press enter student subject is this is mutt mail okay and here you want to write your content here is the content message okay and save the file and if you want to attach a file see here at the top you can see a press a for attach file just press a and choose the file from now i am going to he see here at the bottom now i am going to choose from slash temp oh sorry that want to be remote change directory 
dump and there is a file test I'm going to add this okay that added test file has been added and for sending press Y see here press Y to send the mail and the mail has been sent to student let me check switch user student and just type mutt don't want to mention that mutt mail for checking just type mutt and there is a message okay this is mutt mail I have sent that mail and number two select the two and press enter the attached file was test attachment number two that test okay for viewing the attachment press V okay so here is the test file press V or to save the to save the run to save the file to save the attachment just you need to just we need to press yes save to file test yes press enter already the file exists so what is showing as over right attachment save okay and exit q q q that's it if you want to send from student to root we can send but this is enough i think so this is the basic configuration of sending a mail using attachment and just a basic of smtp configuration Later we can see the in other tutorial how to configure the mail if you are sending from gmail it will receive and this will send from here we can send the mail outside of the internet. Bye.